Hello YouTube and welcome to a brand new Unity 3D Space tutorial. So this original tutorial was going to be one long how to create a basic AI system so you go up close, they talk to you, you go away, you shoot them, they do interactions with them. But then on pre-recording this video it ended up 40 minutes to an hour and it really wasn't acceptable. So we're going to split it up. This tutorial will be about um, assigning the start script and the sounds we have and maybe doing one of them then the next one will be the actual AI system kind of it's not really an AI system it is and it isn't kind of. it's, it's not moving if that helps so we're gonna start by showing you the sounds I've made so I got my brother um, to do this he hasn't got a YouTube channel so we can't thank him but if you want to say thank you in the comments I'll show him later if you like or something but I got him to record loads of these sounds so we've got aggressive so um, when you come up to the enemy we'll say does he like you does he not if he doesn't this is where he'll say I'll not show you because there's quite a few we've got death animation so when he dies he's like Ugh, he's got one of them hit him so when we shoot him he goes Ugh, when, that's when he's aggressive though when he's non-aggressive he'll say so he likes you he'll be like hi there kind of thing non-aggressive hit so if he likes you and you shoot him, some games, what I'm not going to mention, are like, hey, stop that kind of thing. So he'll say that. Then turned aggressive is if you hit him again. So he's like, not turned aggressive. Turned aggressive is when you've hit him too many times. He's like, right, that's it. I'm going to kill you kind of thing. Warning is, right, hit me one more time. I'm going to attack you kind of thing. So it's really easy to do. Voice here is saying how I made those. That will be in the description. You will need all the cities you want it to sound it. I'll show you one of them. I'll show you the non-aggressive one. This is what it sounds like. So as you can see, it's very loud, but I've made it that so it sounds better. It's got the crackly sound as in the radio, so because they're over the spaceship, so it's... If that's too loud in the outcome, I should have quietened it down so you're not deaf. But yeah. So we're going to go to our actual character bit here, not a character, misc scripts here. And as you can see, we've got a player variable. Brilliant. But we need to edit it. So we're going to open up ship stats. So what we need to do in order to make this work is we need an array in our ship stats. So we can say, go and get ID thingy of this. So if you've ever played games where well, have a console, you can usually type something along the lines of spawn, and then you put a ID number in. So like D52CO and it'll go and find that ID. Now we can use that, we can use strings, we can use anything you like. I'm personally not going to, it seems a bit weird, so I'm just gonna use an ID because it makes it easier. If you wanted to use a string, so like um you your ID will be player, and um, you can make it search all of these in here, which we'll be doing later on in another tutorial. So up here I'm gonna type var ships equals will be a ship equals and then right in these two brackets I'm going to put like here put a semicolon and we're going to type in here all of the things what we need so we're going to get new ship here and paste it in here so ships new ship that's our first ship so we can put a comma and duplicate and then in here we can add another one so we'll call this red ship and then we can fulfill it, it so its top speed will be 2 so it's not overpowered health will be 50 and shield will be 25 so if we take that back into this you'll see we get errors but you will see that um, soon it will fix it so we get ship suck line 3 cannot convert ship to ship so ship equals new ship it needs to be an array so that um, so ships create a new ship array ship just like that save it we go back that wasn't the error I was intending for those are the arrays I'm intending for so we get those but if you see this hasn't updated yet because we've got those more errors but we can fix these really easily so basically it's saying player is now not a member of ship stats so it's not anymore because it's a part of ships now so what we can do is go back to life systems and we already know not that one that one that our player is the number zero for the first one. So in life systems up here we can type wherever it says stats, so stats dot ships zero. And what that'll do is basically do the same thing, but wherever it says player, 
we just tell it to go to something else. So instead of going ships stats player, it'll go stats to ships to line zero, which is this one. So we can go back to this and we'll see that all them clear. And we have more players on our collisions, it's the same again, so we scroll down here, player, player, player. So that one will work, now work fine. Perfect. So if we go back to our missed scripts, you can see that we now have an array of two. So first ship, red ship here. Perfect. You can edit them in here or you can edit it in the script. I've put it like this simply because then you can just have a long, long list of all the files. So now that we've done that and that works perfectly, that's great. You can edit it in the script or here. What we're going to do is find our AI sh system ship here. So AI si enemy. And we'll click this one, but we'll not open it yet. We're going to rename it from a Space Enemy Collider to Space Enemy AI. If you don't know what AI is, AI stands for Artificial Intelligence. And it basically means a computer thinking like a human. But most games ha which ha set people say have AI, it's on the line of actual AI or not. The, the, a the um, enemies in games don't think that they're human but they act as in a human. And we just call it artificial intelligence because they're acting like a human. So that's what we're going to make it do. So if you walk up to a random human in the street and just stare at them, they may say something to you. So if it's your friend, they'll be like, um, hi there. Or if it's an enemy, they'll be like, stop staring at me kind of thing. That's what we're going to implement in our game in next tutorial. So we're going to open this space AI up. And in here, we're going to start by just using one of them. So at the moment we've got, if we're hit by an enemy clone, we need to start playing with this. So we can't yet say enemy hit because our ship stats doesn't have it. So we're going to make it have it. But we're going to change it and we're not going to do it in this. Because this function here is for our player. We all know that. However, we want one for the enemies as well, for every other entity. So we're going to duplicate this function here. Keep it called ship. Do not change the name of it. And what we're going to do is just neat this up. And what I'm going to do in here is create a new variable above here. So extras, and we'll call it var hit sound. Um, in fact, we'll call it um, non-aggressive hit sound. Yeah, audio clip. Just like that. So what that one will do is basically say that'll store our non-aggressive sound. So down here we're going to put a comma and put N-A-H-S for non-aggressive hit sound and it'll be an audio clip. And we just fill it in here. Equals N-A-H-S. And you'll see that this won't throw an error if we just leave it called ship. That's the meaning of it. If you were using mono, the one really good thing about mono is it when you type it here, so if we just type, put a comma, and type new ship, it would show you what you can store in it. So if you've ever seen us throw an error, so if we just put a string like that, and then just go back, you'll see that it throws an error, because then I can prove my point. So we get an error, ship does not contain string, because it doesn't. So this constructor that matches the argument list, this is the argument list here. So our player and the red ship currently support the argument list of string, float, float, float. So what's got string, float, float, float? String, float, float, float. That has, has this string, float, float, float. Yes, but it also requires an audio clip. So it'll decide, well, we can't use this one, but that one that matches ours perfectly, we'll use that. If you didn't have this one and you had something else on it, it'd throw an error. However, at the end of our enemy, if we put comma null for our sound, to get our sounds, what we'll eventually make it do is go to resources and find it. But if we put null, so null audio clip, and we go back, you'll see that it'll get rid of the error, but not give us any errors. So we go back to here, and you'll see they've both added an audio clip. I do need to find at the moment how to hide this one if it's not using it, but don't worry about that. So every time we use this one and we go redship.audio, it'll go redship and it'll come down to here, find non-aggressive hit sound and bounce back up and then carry it out and not go through this one. So it's just easier to split it up kind of thing. So we've got that one and I'm now going to create one for every sound I've just added here.
So I'll do that, I'll speed it, in fact I'll just skip this bit, I'll show you after. So I'll be back in a minute. So we're back now, and we've done it. You can see that I've added all that and added all that. Um, I hope you pause the video and just do that for yourself if you have got these. The voices will be available for description, download in the description below. So, perfect. What we can do is here as well, is we need to now add it here. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. So there's our six sounds for now. It does look a bit poor like that, but still. So we go back and we'll see that that disappears because I tested it before I came on and this should update boom so again we'll get rid of the player eventually but now we can assign these audios here so if we scroll down on this aggressive I've called the hit sound an aggressive hit sound because um, they will be aggressive while they're attacking you and that's for when you're in dogfight so non-aggressive on aggressive hit. Turned aggressive is when that you shoot them enough times. And non aggressive warning sound is be careful. So there's our audios. So now let's do that into our space enemy. So if we create a new script variable up here, scripts var stats will be ship stats. But we'll also create one up here called right right above id and this will be an int so id1 we already know is our sh red ship perfect so let's go and use that to our advantage so in here audio.play one shot will play stats dot ships and then we'll play id so whatever we set it to and then we'll put dot so what sound do you want to play well at the moment we'll say there non-aggressive so non-aggressive hit sound there so you hit something like hey stop that kind of thing so that's our sound but we now need to make it so they're all not 3d so they'll actually play and yes this does the, take its time so i'm only going to do the one what i need to do so non-aggressive hit i'll do them off video as well just make them all not 3d sound so we play it and we go in and if we shoot them nothing will happen because we never assign the audio Yes, we did. My mistake. So we go in, we look at them, we shoot them, missed him. No reference object. So we've gone on error. So line 24, there, it doesn't understand stats because we never assigned the stats shit. I do that every time. So we'll put this there. So we assign the script, we go back, then we will be able to attack him. So we shoot him. So the reason it's not working when we actually shoot shoot the enemy is simply because we've named the ID the incorrect one. So zero ID will go to this here and say, well, it can't do it. It is right now it should throw an error. I don't know why it doesn't. That seems a bit like a bug. But it's trying to call this audio here, but it can't because this is number one. So what we're going to do is not click that. It's click number one here. Just like that. And then when we play it, we shoot him. It'll go, ow, stop shooting me or whatever. We'll go up to him and stop that. Stop that. So uh 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 and then we could play death sound when he's dead, so we could quickly do that now, because that's really easy. So we copy this and that and up here. So we play um death sound. Simply like that. So we've already signed it, let's find where it is, make it a normal object and click OK. So it'll play it, we shoot him, uh, 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 then he'll die. Hopefully. So we go in and. So I'm guessing it didn't play it because we put it too late. We'll have to put a timer here one day, but that's the basic principle of where that'll go. So that's it for this tutorial. Sorry it's been jumpy everywhere. I hope you liked it. Um, the ID is for, so when we create multiple characters, all you do is change the ID to what they are. So you can have millions of characters as long as you've got that much in your array. Thank you for watching, and see you next time, my friends.